Hey everyone, I'm Alicia and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to show you how to crochet a bikini. It's going to be super simple, super fun, and I'm going to walk you through all the steps nice and slow. And if you guys want to see more of me, check me out on TikTok at Alicia underscore Autumn or on Instagram at Alicia Autumn. Yes. No underscores. All right, let's get into it today. So I'm going to use a weight four yarn. Um, Google says that acrylic is the best for this, so that's what I'm going to use. And then a 3.75 millimeter hook. All right. I'm a size small to medium. So I start off with a slip knot and a chain of 30. This I find like makes kind of like a cheeky bottom and it's the exact same on the front and the back. It works for me. I don't have much of a butt so I don't need to worry about making space for that. All right, so let's start with that chain of 30. So we're yarning over and pulling through the loop. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. All right. So what we're going to do is just do a row of half double crochets. Yarn over, insert, pull through one, and pull through three. Yarn over, pull through one, and pull through three. And we'll continue this for the rest of the row. And now we're on the last one. So we are going to chain two and flip your work. So now on every other row, we're going to decrease from both ends. So how I match this is every time that there's a tail on the end, that's a row that you decrease. All right. So how to decrease in half double crochet is you yarn over insert your hook and pull through one. Now usually you'd yarn over and pull through three, but now we're going to yarn over and stick it in the next hole. Yarn over, pull through one, and now you've got one, two, three, four, five on your hook. You're gonna yarn over, pull through all of those. 
and then just continue your row basically as normal. So you'll be able to notice here that we've joined together two stitches to make one, and that's one decrease. Okay, so now we're getting to the end, and there's only two stitches left. So what we're going to do is decrease again. So yarn over, insert into the first hole, pull through. Yarn over, insert into the very last hole, pull through, and pull through all of them. Great, we're finishing the half double crochet as normal. Chain two, and flip your work. All right, so it's kind of hard to see, but we've made a decrease now. It'll be more apparent as we go on. But now, as you can see, there's no tail on this end, so I'm not gonna decrease this row. This is just a regular, regular row. And continue across the row as normal. So we've got another decrease row, so I'll show you how to do it. So we're yarning over, insert, pull through one, yarn over, insert in the next one, pull through one, and pull through all of them. And continue as normal until you get to the end. Remember, we're decreasing on rows with the tail and just doing a normal row on the rows without a tail.
and last one of the row, so we're going to decrease. Sometimes that last one is hard to jam your hook into, but you'll get it. So you should be starting to see the kind of trapezoid shape start to form as we get to the end here. See that? Eventually it will just like keep going in until we get to like the crotch part. All right, but to get to that, we'll need to decrease, and it's a decrease row. So I think now that you should be getting the hang of it, each row is smaller every time you go around because we're decreasing. That should make it easier on you. So I'm going to continue on and I will meet you down a couple rows so that I can tell you what to do once we get to the crotch part. So I've done a couple more rows, and you see I've got this trapezoid shape going on. Uh, I think I'm going to do one more row of decrease before I start to make the crotch part. And for this part, it really depends on, like, what you want, how much coverage you want. I like mine rather thin, but you could just keep it going wider or thinner, whatever you feel like. And it's much faster to do these rows as we've decreased so much. Okay. So now that we've finished here with our decreases, I'm just going to finish up this row so that you can see it. Okay, 
So my crotch part is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stitches wide. And I want it to be seven rows tall. So I'm including this first one of no decreases, so that's one. And now we're going to. And we're just gonna do seven regular rows. No increases, no decreases. And since there's so few stitches here, it shouldn't take you that long. If you guys ever make any of my uh, tutorials or patterns, please, please tag me. Someone on TikTok tagged me in a dress that I gave a tutorial for and I literally almost cried because I was so happy that someone used my tutorial. It's like, you know, I'm kind of new to this, just like you guys, and it's like encouraging to see people like liking and using um, the tutorials that I post makes me feel like I'm doing something right and you know like I don't always do everything right but you know get it done So if you guys have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment. Or if you don't want it to be public, you can just DM me. My DMs are basically open on uh, Instagram and TikTok, and I'll try to get back to you as well as I can. Um, I don't usually talk in like the proper crochet terms all the time. <laughs> um, but I'll try to explain it to you as intuitively as possible. Alright, so we've got one, two, three, four, five rows. And now this is row six. And only one more after this. Oh, I forgot to explain how to count the rows. So you start counting, so you can kind of see where you decrease because there's like a little extra bulkiness. See here how there's like that extra diagonal stitch there? That was the last place that I decreased. So you can see here, there's no diagonal stitch. So these ones are the ones where I didn't decrease. So I only have one more row to go. And that's it for like the back or the front. It doesn't matter, it's kind of reversible. We're gonna do exactly what we did on the first trapezoid and just reverse it for the front part or, you know, the back, whatever, reversible, I just said that. Anyways, but instead of decreasing, we're gonna increase. So I'll show you how to increase. So for an increase, let me bring you in a little bit closer. For an increase, you're going to start the same way that you always do and just put in a half double crochet. And now in the exact same hole where you just put that first one, put another. And that's how you increase. See? And you've got two emanating from that one hole. And then we're just going to keep going with just regular, you know, increases. And notice, by the way, that I did this, I have the tail on the same side, so I can always increase or decrease on the same, like, side of the project. Just makes it more simple for me, because sometimes I forget. And another increase. 
crease at the end and we're going back into that same hole and boom you're done your first increase row and again we're just doing another regular row so every other row you're going to increase one on each side All right, flipping our work and we have another increase row. So I'm gonna insert, increase in the first one and just regular stitches across. And increasing in the last one, chain two. All right, so we're starting to see how it's opening back up again. So some of this and this will still be like on your kind of like crotch part, but you can just extend either side if you need it to be longer. I just find that this size works for me. This is just a regular row. So for this one, it's great because it doesn't need to be exactly the perfect size because we've got the ties on the sides, so you can adjust it. That's my favorite kind of like crochet clothes to make because you don't need to like worry so much. As long as you've got all of the important bits covered, if you want them to be covered, um, then you'll be good. So now to see that you're like 
on the right track. You can fold your work in half and see that it lines up perfectly with the one underneath. See that? So I'm just gonna keep going until we get to the end. All right, so I'm here. I only have one more increase to go and then one more row of just like regular half double crochet. And our final row, which is just a regular row, no increases, no decreases, nice and easy. All right, and that is our base for our bikini bottom, all done. Now I'm gonna show you how to add the straps on the sides. I'm gonna add a strap to each corner so that we can tie them on the sides. Um, so for these straps, I'm gonna chain 70 on each side. The side's already attached, we don't even need to detach it. So I've already chained one at the end of the row, and now just 69 more. Okay, and when you get to the end, you're going to pull a little bit so that you have a bigger loop to work with. Snip it off. And pull it through and tie it off. 
and it's nice and secure. I'm just going to trim this a little bit, but not too close to the knot. Trim that, and that's one strap. So this is just like a chain. It's not that thick. So if you want something a little bit more sturdy, you could double up your yarn, or you could make like a braid and just like braid it by hand and attach it. But this is the way that I do it. I really like a skinny strap look. It's a little bit stretchy, but not too much. All right, and so now that we've cut it off, we're gonna need to attach a new one. So I'll show you how to attach a new one. So what we're gonna do, gonna make a slip knot. Oops. Stick our hook through it and find like kind of like the first hole you have here. Hold on to it. And this is called a slip stitch, what we're gonna do next. So we're gonna yarn over, pull through the first one, and just keep pulling through. That's a slip stitch. That's how a lot of things are attached in crochet. It's pretty secure and it doesn't make anything bulky. All right, and then we're just gonna chain 70 again. And you're just gonna repeat this for the rest of your straps. All right, and so that's what your two front straps look like. Pretty cute. And you're just gonna repeat it on the other side. So just attach your chain 70 and that's all. And here is the final piece. Next, we'll go on to the top. So I actually ran out of orange yarn, so we're gonna make a little color block moment. I think that these colors look pretty together. So this will be the top color and this will be the bottom. If you guys saw my how to make a bra cup tutorial, this is gonna start the exact same way. So we're going to make a slip knot. And chain 10. For the bra cup, we're going to make, obviously, two cups, and um, then just add some straps to it, pretty much. So, we're going to half double crochet down this chain. at the end so we're gonna chain two and just go back across with a half double crochet Okay, so we're going to go into this last stitch, and here is where it starts to get funky. So in that very same hole, you guys see that same hole right there, where we just put one stitch? We're going to put seven more. This is going to make it round out and start our cup shape. So, one, two, three, four. Five, six, oops, oh, six and seven. And now what we're going to do is go down the back side. So these holes aren't as easy to see, but you can still get into them. So we're going one, two, There we go. I don't know why I was counting, but. <laughs> and then this last one. 
great. Chain two, flip your work. And we're just gonna keep half double crocheting around all the way to the other side. But at the top, we have a little bit of a variation, which is we are going to put three in the very top center loop so that it increases and gets like into a bigger cup shape every single time. All right, and here is my top center loop. See that right there? And we're gonna put three. One, two, and three. And then just do regular half double crochets all for the rest. And now this row is the pattern that we're going to follow for the entire rest of the cup. So you've gotten to the end, chain two, flip. And so now we're getting to the top. And if you get confused as to which one is the middle stitch, just look at your three that you've put into that one. So we've got our first one, and there's the hole for the first one. We've got our second one, there's the hole, and then the third one. You want to put it into that second one. That's where you're doing your increase. All right, so just one regular one, and then three in the center. And then just a regular one in the next and all the following. So we're just repeating this over and over. Oops. We're just repeating this one over and over. And you'll start to see it'll start to kind of round out and make more of like a triangle shape. So I'll just finish up this row with you guys and then I'll pick up a little bit later on once I've got more of my cup done. If you've got a smaller cup then you obviously won't need to do as many um, rows around but if you've got a bigger cup you'll probably be at this for a little while. So that was our increase one.
and chain two. So we're starting to get that cup shape coming together, that kind of roundness. And also we're starting to see it as a bit of a triangle kind of shape, like a rounded triangle. So I finished up my cup here. I'll show you it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rows outside of like that first one that we made. That's just for reference. So now I'm going to show you how to make some loops on the bottom so that we can string through like the strap that will go around your rib cage. So I'm at the end of my row here. So I just finished going around into there. I'm going to chain one, two, three, four. And now we're going to go along the bottom. I don't have like a specific spot that I go into, kind of just wherever I see like a sturdy hole. You don't want to go just into like like one layer of string like that because you don't want it to stretch. Make sure it's a hole that's kind of like reinforced. And then we're going to slip stitch. We did this on the on the bottoms when we attach the straps. So we're going to go yarn over, pull through the hole, and keep pulling through. And then we've got this little loop that we can like string our string through. And then I'm going to chain one, two, three, four. Find another place to insert. And slip. Oops. <laughs> Everybody makes mistakes. All right, so we put it in, yarn over, pull through, and slip stitch. And we've got two little loops. One, two, three, four. Find another hole. And slip stitch. One, two, three, four. Another hole. There we go. One, two, three, four. If your bra cup is smaller than this, then you um, won't need to do as many of these little loops on the bottom. But we've got one, two, three, and four. Find a hole. Two, three, four, and a hole. I try not to do it right where the um, where your original knot was because that can kind of get pulled on, so you don't want it in there. So I just put it right to the left of it. And you want to make sure that your last one, it ends like right close to the end. Boom. And then I'm just going to chain one. And now what we can do, without even cutting our thing, so we've done our little scallop trim on the bottom. Looks really cute. It could just be decorative, but we're going to use it like for a utility to loop our string through. But now we've chained one, and we're back on another side of the cup. So now what I'm going to do is you can half double crochet up this side if you want a little bit more coverage, or you can just single crochet, which is just insert, pull one through, and pull one through. But I'm going to get just a little bit more coverage because we're going to go all the way up the side and then make a strap. inserting and half double crochets all the way up the side and this top is completely reversible it doesn't matter which side is the outside but now that we're adding this like extra row on one side you want to make sure that that's like the 
that's going like closest to your armpit. And then the other one will be closest to your other armpit. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but you know, you'll have like one for the left and one for the right, but they're reversible. So it doesn't really matter which one is which until you put it on, of course. Okay, so I'm coming up to the end. And as soon as I get to the top, that middle stitch, we've got, oh, got one more. And now I'm going into that middle stitch. Finish that half double crochet. And now we are just going to chain. I think I do a chain of 100 for these ones. So I did two, I'm just gonna keep going. And again, if you wanted a thicker strap, perhaps if you've got a larger chest or need more support, you might want to double up your yarn here. Or when you're done the chain, you can go back over it with a single crochet or a half double crochet because that will make it a little bit thicker, a little bit sturdier. So it'll be like this kind of strap. It'll be like this kind of strap, a little bit thicker um, instead of this tiny little braided strap. I like the, how the skinny strap looks and it doesn't really cause any problems for me. So I'm just going to stick with the skinny strap. Alright, and now that we've got our 100 chains and our whole strap, I'm just going to snip and tie off. So that is our one cup, super cute with this little hem at the bottom, and you're just going to repeat this on the other side. So now we have both cups done. And the final step for this whole bikini is just making a string to go all the way around and wrap around your rib cage. So again, if you need more support, you might wanna double up your yarn. So treating it as it's like taking two pieces and treating it as if it is just one. Going like this. This will make a thicker strap, like that, versus this. Um, or you can make a really long chain and go back on it with a single crochet or half double crochet. But yeah, I'm just gonna do the chain of 150 because it needs to go all the way around. So I ended up making my chain a little bit longer so that I would have enough to tie. So I made it 170 chains instead of 150. So I'm just gonna snip and tie it off. And now we just need to loop it through. Just go back and forth through all of like these little holes that we made. If you have a hard time doing it, you can use your crochet hook too to kind of grab onto it and pull it through but I find just using my fingers is often faster. Or another option that you can do, if you've got a darning needle, you can just loop your end through there and then just go quickly as if you were kind of like sewing through these little loops. 
and pull through. You obviously don't need this tool, like you can do just fine with your fingers, but it does make it quicker. So now I am going to go through the next one. All right, and that is your finished bikini. You got your top, all done. And then our different colored bottom, pull out just a little bit. Yeah, there we are. I'll show you what it looks like on. Thank you so much for watching and if you guys make it or do your own variation of it i want to see it make sure to tag me or send me a dm on instagram or tiktok at alicia autumn on instagram and at alicia underscore autumn on tiktok all right bye